Kate Stan Mason is here with us right now because she is a paper engineer extraordinaire and you have brought an amazing paper engineering project that is right here. It's these fabulous photo cards. Yeah, I'm actually a paper engineer geek. I love making cards that open and, and do fun things. And this is actually based on a card I did a long time ago and it was fairly plain. It was all uh, folded up and when I realized I could start doing some die cut action in it, I was super excited. You got fancy with it. Your I imagination was allowed fancy. to run free. You know, I could have done this with, you know, just a craft knife mm -hmm. and a cutting mat, but if I wanted to make 20 of them, I, right. it would be horrible. So um, I've come up with just a little uh, a template. template. Yeah, I see. And template. of course, the template will be available on the Scrapbook Soup website. Yeah, so now I could add holes. And when I was thinking about developing the template, I didn't just cut out one flower. I wanted some embellishments left over. So I cut out like a second flower within. So it gives me use of that negative space. I have some little ones cut out here that I can use. And I wanted this to include a gift card. So I put in these just little tiny tabs that lets me put in a nice little gift oh, card. Almost like photo corners so you can mm -hmm. slip it in. Yeah. Okay, so that's so if people want to develop their own template, they know sort of what they're trying to develop and right. think of. But right. of course, we have ours. Now, we've already scanned this yes, we into have. our I'm electronic cutter. Because lots of them. Yes, <laughs> it's true. I think it'd be great for a baby shower oh, or great. for, you know, wedding gifts. Thank even. you, gifts. Even I know. The bride and groom. And so uh, since we've already scanned it in, I'm going to go right to pattern into my saved data. And I, it's saved into the machine, right? Yes. So we're going to pick the machine as opposed to the USB drive. And I can see all the different crafty projects that I've been working on in the machine. So busy. I know. And I can just scroll through nice and easy to get there and I see it right there yep. it's this one right mm -hmm. so I'm gonna pull that up and it's pretty much ready to cut right so I right. preloaded the mat well I should say I like I did any work you <laughs> preloaded pre this sticky mat and we enlarged that image paper. so it would fit but you could make a little tiny version of this as well I mean you really get to play it's with it true and uh, so what all I'm gonna do is hit okay I don't need to resize mm -hmm. it right this is the yep, size you want it at so I'm gonna hit okay I'm gonna hit cut and I I've already checked my blade depth to make sure that it is right for mm -hmm. this. And I'm going to press start and let the machine cut. Now, while that's cutting, I want to talk about the paper. pattern paper, yeah, that you chose. I like this sort of wave pattern. And you had some examples of papers that you think work better or, let's say, not as well. Not as well. Well, because I'm making uh, these little cutouts and they're, they're semi-intricate, I don't want to use something that's too complicated. I actually tried it on Too Complicated, and your eyes just, it's sort of like an optical illusion, and it hurts your eyes. So you want to find something that is a simpler pattern like this, or the one that we've got in the machine, and you also want it to be double-sided, because that's the magic, because you get this whole card in one piece. if we look back piece. at the finished piece, if you open that yep. again, you mm -hmm. can see that it's not that you've pieced together all these different pattern papers, it's just that it's actually double-sided. One piece of paper. Which is very, very card. cool. Yeah, So I while this that. is cutting, why don't we start to put together, because I know you have one there I that's do. already cut. Cuts. All right, so, so I'm gonna set that aside. So what I have here, and let's move this over to the center, is um, what we're cutting out right now. And so what you first have to do is just pull all your pieces apart. And we've got all our little extras here. And remember, it's double-sided, so they each have a different exciting side. And the other thing is that this is semi-interchangeable, so you can kind of play with your parts. So um, you can actually cut like dozens of different papers and then start the embellishing okay. process once you have them mm -hmm. all. And by the way, this is already done cutting and I just want to show, I know you're yes, getting started on that one, but if I unload my mat for just a second, I'm gonna, um, Actually, I think I'm gonna get this flower right here. I'm gonna pull that right off the mat. And you can see, and this one has a nice subtle pattern both on this side and on that side. So that'll be another mm -hmm. great one to use. Anyway, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. And Jen. that's the one that was made, this card was made with that paper. So we have an example of that. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. This flower is very close to the seam. So instead of folding this in half like this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the force of the table to help hold that down. And so I'll get a really nice fold. That's interesting. I've never heard that tip before, and I love it. So if you want to get a nice, clean fold, the side that has a cutout should stay against the mm -hmm. table, and the side that's solid should be the one that gets flipped exactly. over. I match my corners. I lock my little thing here. And so this is going to be the back of my card and that little front flap, because you can see my little I see holes. your perforations it's for your gift that, card. Yeah. yeah. And then this is going to get folded in half again, my opening there. And I'm just folding this right into the middle. It into the fold. No rulers and actually, needed. Again, I can see how you've actually designed the template so that you can fold in the side that's solid and leave the cutout, which makes the paper weak. 
right. right down there. You're so smart. Well, thank you. I actually did it wrong a few times, but it, ah. but I like the engineering. I like the, the the play of that. So when I was saying before that this is interchangeable, I could put the card like this. Mm -hmm. I can make it go like this. So that you can you can. So even if you have a template, it. it's still flexible for you to be able to design mm -hmm. it the way that you want. Right. Exactly. This is our little spine piece, and. You're going to fold that in half as well. And this is what's going to attach our cover to our back piece. Okay. And it's super simple. We are going to actually put our green side up and we would adhere this. But again, watching somebody glue something sometimes is like watching paint dry. <laughs> so um, I've got one ready here. Okay. And all I've done is glued that on and tacked down my little flap. This flap here. Right, got tacked too down. Too loose. Flapping it, uh, oh, see, it down. Oh, see, because I was so confused, I couldn't understand why you were doing the green on top of the green. But now that I see how you attach that spine piece mm -hmm. here, that it creates the fold. So now the contrasting one is here with that. Right. Very clever. All right, so the next thing we need is our hole punch. And you could measure this, but I don't measure anything. I don't measure anything. You, <laughs> want, you want to get about half the hole. You want it to look like a half hole so that when you punch it, you get a full circle. I see. So let me just show that one more mm -hmm. time really quickly. It's just half a hole right there, and then it gets your full hole. Right. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is for our ribbon. And if you didn't want this to tie, you didn't have to do this. But I like it because you don't even need an envelope for this card. Oops, my hand is slipping. All right. So now we have to put our ribbon through the hole. I like to cut a little point on the edge of my ribbon. Um, you can see from my examples, I've used some old sari ribbon and some wider ribbon, you know, really. It's pretty forgiving. If you want a thicker ribbon, you can just cut a thicker hole or bigger hole. And this is the other thing that's sort of magical. You know, we had that green on green, but now... Ah, that's how I you do it. So let's look it. back at the finished ones really quickly yes. here. And I can see how you laid in the various parts of your cuts because, mm -hmm. of course, to create that look that you have here, all you do is simply take the smaller one and put it inside at an angle. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the photo inside is such a nice treat. It'd be a great engagement announcement, all sorts of things like this. What a fantastic paper printing idea. I can't wait to download the template. Great. Make a couple of my own. So we got lots of cards today, and I'll be back with another idea.